teachers who are our second second parents knowing well that we are beautifully and wonderfully made if the teachers are the winners of our life and dreams god is the one who designs the pattern so let us pray to the greatest guru to give our teachers and us to give his love and his and our teachers who are our second second parents so dear viewers of our dreams today we want to express to you how much you mean to us we express our gratitude and love to the viewers of our lives and its dreams knowing well that we are beautifully and wonderfully made if the teachers are the viewers of our life and dreams god is the one who designs the pattern so let us pray to the greatest guru to give our teachers and us to give his love and his knowledge of all wisdom greatest of all teachers look upon our teachers with love grant them the resolve to nurture our eager minds and never to give up on us who fall behind bless the hearts for they rejoice when we succeed and encourage us when we fail and hold them with gentle patience for the path of learning is never easy all things bright and beautiful all creatures great and small all things wise and wonderful the good god made them
than a lack of in school teacher teach him it is far more honorable to fail than to cheat teach him to learn how to gracefully lose and enjoy winning when he does win i promise teach him to watch his thoughts that become his words to watch his words that become his action to watch his action that become his habit to watch his habit that become his character to watch his character for it becomes his destiny attitude is the attitude of the heart in this term i want to make him very tall very tall in heart i will tell him values are like houses they are signals of giving him meaning direction and purpose Why do you need a garment so spotless? Golden and glittering, pure as gold. In its form, we weave a garment so lustrous. Teach him to be gentle with gentle people, tough with tough people. Steer him away from envy if you can, and teach him the secret of quiet laughter. Teach him if you can how to laugh when he is sad. Teach him there is no shame in tears. Teach him there can be glory in failure and despair in success. Teach him to scoff at cheers. The characteristics of gentleness and strength together can be applied to all aspects of one's life. It's a balance that is necessary to find success in all areas. You need to be strong enough to withstand the hardship of life. Gentle enough to find peace, contentment, and gratitude even through adversity. Jealousy is when you jealousy is when you count someone else's blessings instead of your own. You need to be strong enough. So I will make him confident that to teach him that forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. He was weaving in the forenoon, so mighty new. Why do you weave a garment so splendid? Let the plumes of peacock, purple and grey, I be a life for a boy so adept in the life of a art and life. Teach him, if you can, the wonders of books, but also give time to ponder the extreme mystery of birds in the sky, bees in the sun, and flowers on a green hill. Teach him. Have faith in his own ideas, even if everyone tells him he is wrong. Try to give my son the strength not to follow the crowd when everyone else is doing it. Teach him to hear to everyone, but teach him also to filter all that he hears on the screen of truth and take only good that comes through. Teach him to sell his talents and brains at the highest bidder. But never to put a price tag on his heart and soul. Teach him to have sublime faith in himself, because then he will have sublime faith in mankind and in God. This is my wish, but you see what best you can do. He is such a nice little boy, and he is my son. Today I am presenting him to you, O oh, great and mighty world. My role in giving the garment for him has ended here and now. He will give his share of contribution to you according to his God-given capacity. I have prepared it for him by carefully selecting the quality and the shade of the fiber I have used in weaving it. He looks so elegant, handsome, and attractive in his garment, isn't it? Yes, I have made sure that he will face the world with courage and confidence. He will give his share of contribution. The synergy between him and the world is the finery I have used in weaving him to well. That when world sees him wearing such a fine attire, no one would say how skilled a weaver I am. Rather, they would say what an elegant mantle he wears. How attractive he looks! How attractive its colors are! The garment 
and made for it will become his attribute, not mine. Even he himself began to believe that it was always with him and will forget that it was woven by me for him. That's alright. I know deep down in my heart that I have made him a stalwart personality with it. This secret pride and joy I will keep as my reward and reflect it to you all.